come together once again as a country, let's come together as a church. And it was President Grover Cleveland, who happened to be a Presbyterian, was speaking that day and said, let's reunite as a body. He was the son of the Presbyterian minister who was serving in Caldwell, New Jersey uh, at that time. Robert Cleveland said, let's get together. And the people said, no, they didn't do it. Decades, decades, decades thereafter, the church would, would say at their different assembly meetings, let's reunite. And they had their discussions had their debates. And it wasn't until 1983 that we came together again. But at that General Assembly, back in 1888, people gathered from the Southern Church, joined that meeting, and they gathered in prayer and praise. They found common ground. It was a start shared beliefs are the foundation for our unity. Exposing our disagreements may be frightening, but may we trust that where we fail, God will succeed in keeping the body of Christ whole. Amen. And let us sing together joyously once more um, of the resurrection. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks. Hymn number 106.
rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. We continue the tradition of the early Christians giving a portion of our resources to be distributed. And so let us now offer in prayer the dedication of those gifts. God of overflowing abundance, you feed our spirits with spiritual milk and nourish our souls with heavenly food. You are our fortress and our rock when the snares of this world threaten to overwhelm us. In gratitude for your mercy and your many blessings, we offer you our gifts and our ministries that a wounded world might know your grace. Amen. Friends, we have been invited to share the feast prepared by our Lord. And people gather from north and south and east and west to sit at table with our Lord. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Let us pray. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, eternal God, creator and ruler of the universe. At your word, the earth was made and spun on its course among the planets. Your hand formed us from the dust of the earth and set us among all your creatures to love and serve you. When we were unfaithful to you, you kept faith with us. Your love remained steadfast. When we were slaves in Egypt, you broke the bonds of our oppression, brought us through the sea to freedom and made covenant to be our God. By a pillar of fire, you led us through the desert to a land flowing with milk and honey and set before us the way of life. You spoke of love and justice in the prophets, and in the word made flesh, you lived among us, manifesting your glory. Christ died that we might live, and Christ is risen to raise us to new life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the faithful of every time and place who forever sing to the glory of your name, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, whom you sent to save us. He came with healing in his touch and was wounded for our sins. He came with mercy in his voice and was mocked as one despised. He came with peace in his heart and met with violence and death. And by your power, he broke free from the prison of the tomb and at his command, the gates of hell were opened. The one who was dead now lives. The one who humbled himself is raised to rule over all creation, the Lamb upon the throne. The one ascended on high is with us always, as he promised. Gracious God, Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these, your gifts of bread and wine, that the bread we break and the cup we bless may be the communion of the body and blood of Christ. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, that we may be one with all who share this feast, united in ministry in every place. And as this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to be the body of Christ in the world. This morning, O oh God, we pray for our neighbors in Milton, those, the family members of, of Christopher who died in a bicycle accident. For a family who grieves and a community who mourns, we pray, O oh God, that you impart upon them your peace 
which passes understanding. And nourished at this table of God, may we know Christ's redemptive love and live a new life in Him. Help us to recognize our Lord in the breaking of bread, to see and serve Him in all whose lives are broken. And give us who are fed at His hand grace to share our bread with the hungry and with the hungry of heart. Keep us faithful in your service until Christ comes in final victory, and we shall feast with all your saints in the joy of your eternal realm. Through Christ, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. We also pray the prayer your Son taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Lord. Amen. On the evening of this betrayal, Jesus gathered with those who loved him. And on that occasion, he took bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which shall be broken for you. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, after supper, Jesus took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant sealed with my blood. As long as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of our Lord until he comes again. Friends, these are the gifts of God for the people of God. So let us enjoy the feast. Does everyone have elements in front of them? Does anyone need bread or juice? And friends, this is the body of Christ, and it is the bread of heaven. changed uh, much during COVID, and the rituals that we have are those that have been cultivated through the years. They're not exactly done the same way that things took place in the early church. But do you remember, did you ever have a time in this church where you would have a cloth cover the elements? Yeah. You remember that? Mm -hmm. We did down south, part of 